What have I done? What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we are back with potentially a tragic situation, man. We have this bag right here that I purchased off Amazon. Now, I was just casually going through Amazon as one does, especially when you are a action figure collector, wrestling action figure collector, WWE figure collector, right? I always look up WWE Elite and I'll go through all the deals. I'll look up WWE Ultimate Edition. I'll go through the deals. Hell, I even look up Marvel Legends, SH Figure Arts, all these different figures all the time. I've made it probably, I do it at least once a day. You know, you just gotta get your, your look in just to make sure. Well, I came across these figures, and they look to be like Jax figures. That's what they kind of looked like, but I figured it would make a good video. So I paid $30. $30, maybe $35 ship for this entire bag right here. Maybe been $32 ship. Doesn't really matter. I bought what I believe are bootleg WWE figures off Amazon, and today we're gonna go through this entire bag. I don't know how many figures was in it. I just saw the link. I clicked it. I bought it just for a video. So this is that video. Nonetheless, let's crack this bag open. Find Find out what the hell they sent me, and I'm honestly, I think we're in for some laughs, I think we're in for some trash, I think we're in for a good time. So let's shut the hell up and dive into it. Thank you guys for coming by. If you will, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, leave a like on the video, because this, this, I, I, I purchased this for you. So let's open this up here. I mean, I don't know what the, what the hell am I looking at already, Brad? Oh my god in heaven. I, I get... <laughs> Oh, Jesus. I guess what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open it up, and we're going to go through it one by one, and we'll analyze it. But I think we're in for some good stuff. To avoid danger of suffocation, keep this plastic bag away from babies and children. Do not use in cribs, beds, carriages, or playpens. This bag is not a toy. Well, thank God they explained it. All right. Now, I feel like, you know, these guys got to go in the crowd at least, you know? No matter what the hell happens... All right, here we go. First figure. What in the hell is this? All right, I want you to keep in mind that I paid $30 for this. So what's wild to me, okay, it clearly has like a Rey Mysterio. <laughs> I mean, can you even call this Rey Mysterio? Look at that head. This is obviously supposed to be Rey Mysterio. Like he even has some of his tattoos on here. He's got like these fake Rey logo tattoos. I don't even know what that says. You got, you know, he's got loose shoulders. What's wild is this is a Mattel shield crotch, bro. That is a Mattel shield crotch, but it's like the cheapest effing plastic. They have no ball joints, man. It's just they they, they just kick forward. That's it. They kick forward. Oh, everybody knows when you call home, you, you dial 976. Look, it's even got the shield pockets on there and the shield style boots. It's like, oh my God, bro. Look at these logos. This is, oh my God. He's got a screw in the middle of his spine. This is the greatest thing. I've ever ordered in my entire life. Look at this. Anyways, we're moving on to the next one. Give me some funny names down in the comment section below. Who we got next? Okay, this one's actually, you know what? Like, all things considered, this could work as a rock figure. This is when mom says, no, you have the rock at home. This is what she means. Look at that head sculpt. He's looking like a damn clown. He's got the Brahma bull tat. I mean, you gotta give points for accuracy there. He's got the tribal tattoo. What's filthy is that his arm, their arms feel like they're made out of dust or or freaking sand or something and then the rest of it's like this glossy material the mold of the torsos look like jacks but again this is clearly like a basic god-awful version of a shield crotch and legs right here but this rock figure so far he i'm gonna rank these from worst to best at the end of the video absolutely we're ranking these from worst to best at the end of the video Th this one's actually pretty not that bad all things considered Next up, we have a good lord in heaven. What am I looking at? Hot. It says hot on his trunks. Doesn't look like he has any tattoos. Uh, this is clearly a Seamus figure or, or what used to be a Seamus. Uh, legs are very weird. Very basic boots here. Like, this is like dollar store quality, bro. Jesus Christ. Need to get a Jesus Christ counter going. But there is the hot Seamus figure with a spray tan. 
we have what looks to be an edge figure. Good Christ. Look at those eyebrows, man. What a beautiful looking spirit. Got a nice tattoo on there. He's got an E. He's got an E on that side. Look, he's got like the rated R, what would be like the rated R logo right there. Uh, this one's, you know, this one's not horrific. It's just not that good. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not going to get it going. That one's, eh. We have a Kane figure, it looks like. This is clearly meant to be Kane, or this is an old Kane figure repainted or head sculpt repainted. He's got a terrible, like, trash Corbin-style haircut, just the back of his head completely painted, and it's more of, like, a dark green. He has his stitch pants, but it's, like, looks like somebody did it with crayon. So he's got his red and black crayon-style tights, and then he's got red boots. Good Lord, bro. Why did I do this? What? Why, why did I do this? This is... This is just sickening. Oh my god, we have his brother. We have his brother that... <laughs> Look at the tattoos, man. Look at the tattoos. I mean, he's got the great tattoos. Nice upper singlet going on. Look at the head sculpt. Look at that loose piece of hair coming off there. I guarantee you could easily find, like, the original head sculpts that these are supposed to be. But he's got his singlet on there. And he's got the same, like, rock style, Roman Reigns style pants. Loose arm, of course. And then he does have his red boots in here, which are, um... They look to be the exact same mold, but they actually look better than, than the other mold. But they are the same mold. But there's the Undertaker is what I'm guessing that's supposed to be. So we have The Undertaker, we have Kane, we have Edge, Sheamus, Rey Mysterio, and The Rock. Oh my lord in heaven. We have a Randy Orton right here. What does that say? I mean, it's, I'm sure it's another language, but it looks like it says Oerdoon or Ourdoon. But hey, look at that. He's got his tribal tat across the top of the back, which is accurate. He's got some of his tattoos going on. You can see a little bit of the dove in there. You got the tribal tat. He's got the skulls on his, on his shoulders right here that goes onto the torso. Head sculpt is not, you know, that bad. I mean, you know what's wild? Is you can take this head sculpt, acetone all the paint on, off, give it to somebody who's really talented and they could probably make it look just like Randy Orton. That's what's kind of scary, but he's got some of the skull tats going on over here. He's got white boots. We've never seen Randy wear the white boots, but this is kind of a clean figure. I actually like this one a lot. Also, they don't have any knee articulation, which is complete buns. Moving on next... We have a Triple H, and this, you can tell that this is supposed to be like the Elite 2 Triple H head sculpt. Looks very much like it, like the same mold and everything. What's wild, again, is if I popped all these heads off and I did, like, some, some surgery on them, I could probably get them into, like, base flesh tone, but he has no tattoos on there. He's got yellow trunks. I don't even know what that's, but it looks like an L or an H. Uh, you got white boots on there, very plain Jane character, but it is the bootleg Triple H, and he is looking, uh, he's looking pretty bootleg. Coming up next, we have what looks to be a Batista and sweet God in heaven. Look at that head sculpt. Look at that head sculpt right there. These are fantastic. He even has his tattoos in here. It's got his other tattoo over there. He's got his belly button tat. I mean, this looks kind of like Batista. I mean, the head sculpt's god awful. Kind of looks like my late great Uncle Bobby. Rest in peace to the legend. Massive, horrendous back tattoo. Again, a screw in the back of his, in the middle of his back. His legs, like, don't even move. Good lord. Okay, there it goes. I mean, this one looks pretty much like Batista. He does have knee pads on there, but he does have the black boots on there. I mean, that one's probably the most... The Rock, let's be honest, The Rock's probably the most accurate of the source material, maybe Kane. But uh, let's move on to the next one. It looks like, <laughs> Jesus, man. I mean, Lord in heaven, these head sculpts. The paint job is hilarious. I think this is a Jax Chris Jericho head sculpt. He's got no tattoos on there. At least they're trying to pay. Oh, look at that fist right there. Just a nice painted fist right there on the thigh. What is this? That's that same logo that was on the Triple H figure, but he's got the red pants, white belt, like alien ass head sculpt, black boots. I mean, this guy, look at this guy. I mean, I would literally pay somebody, like, I don't know, 50 bucks to do a pick fed match with these. Like, oh my god, hilarity. Y'all are waiting on MDT Developmental? Here it is. Coming up on the last two here. Next up is, oh, okay, so we have a Brock Lesnar here that's not, you know, all things considered, not the worst thing of all time. You can compare him to the Ultimate here, and I gotta say, I think this one, you get way more bang for your buck. You know, um, this one's much more quality. I mean, dude, it would be hilarious to have this guy come up to Brock Lesnar and say something and then have him just beat the hell out of him. Gotta love this Ultimate. What a beast of a figure. Saw it two more times yesterday. Almost bought two more. Anyways, Brock Lesnar head sculpt, you have the, the accurate tattoo. You you have the skull tattoo over here, which is pretty accurate. That's actually his exact tattoo. 
Same exact tattoo over here. Wow, they even have the meat hooks and the back tattoo on here. And they gave him the one red leg sleeve and then the black over here. They're all wearing like the exact same thing. Obviously, he was wearing the UFC trunks or shorts, not these long pants. But all of them have this odd looking spray tan look. They look just the green tattoos. I mean, these are just worthless, man. Good God. And then last but not least, it looks like we have the goat himself. And that is going to be John Cena. And I like the colors on this one a lot, actually. Like the head sculpt, you know, his face is melting away like the rest of them. But he's got uh, no tattoos, which is accurate. They didn't give him any wristbands, which sucks. No bicep band. But the blue color right here. I know for a fact they didn't put a goddamn Dean Ambrose logo on this guy. They put Dean Ambrose logos on his legs, man. Oh my gracious. John Cena, Dean Ambrose logo with the white boots and the blue, man. Let's stand these up. I got to rank them from worst to best. I got to stand these up. We got to get a good full look at them. And uh, I don't know if I should rank them by my favorite or should I rank them based on, you know, what I'm saying, like how accurate they are slash worst to actual best aesthetically look. All right, man, so here's our full lineup all lined up. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 wrestlers. So you get 12 wrestling figures for 30 bucks. You know, uh, that comes in about, what, two and a half bucks per figure. Honestly, overpaid, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you hate to see it, but let's rank these things from worst to best in my own personal opinion. Coming in at the bottom of the ranking, which figure would I just not want whatsoever? Just a god-awful terribleness. I think the worst figure in the set has to be the Chris Jericho, man. This Chris Jericho figure. I mean, look at that face, man. I mean, just just look at what we're dealing with here. Get him out. He comes in at the bottom of the ranking. Chris Jericho's figure comes in at the bottom for me. Coming in at number 11, I think I'm going to go with the Edge figure. Again, man, look at this head. Head sculpt with those eyebrows, man. I mean, I don't know what we're going for here. The rest of it's just kind of plain Jane, so I went with Edge. Edge is coming in at the number 11 spot. I like the, the red tights. That's a about all he's got going for him. I like the ease for everyone, but nah, nobody wants you, Brad. Coming in at number 10, I'm gonna go with the Triple H figure. I didn't like this head sculpt from Mattel. I sure as hell don't like it from this company. Look at those bug-ass eyes. I am just not a fan. The yellow trunks just don't really do it for me. It's it's very plain Jane. I like the white boots, but yeah, I just, I'm not feeling it. I'm going number 10 here on the Triple H figure. All right, man, moving on to the number nine figure in the bootleg WWE action figures from Amazon. I think I gotta go with The Undertaker man like i think had he had full tattoo coverage or you know full black boots or something like that or maybe a hat or something like that would have been better but again man i just can't I, I just don't want this figure man look at him i mean i am not uh i'm not feeling it right here you know i, I just yeah I, I got him coming in at my number nine spot the random red boots kind of threw me for a loop i'm gonna go with undertaker at the number nine coming in at number eight i'm going with the batista figure man and i actually really really like all the attention to detail it looks like a 2004 2004 2005 Batista, you know, they did their homework, but that head sculpt, man, that head sculpt right there, I mean, good lord, shout out to Uncle Bobby again, it just, for whatever reason, it reminds me of Uncle Bobby, and my Uncle Bobby was a much more handsome man, but Jesus Christ, I don't know, that looking off to the left is hilarious, all right, man, we're into the number seven spot, number seven is gonna go to the Kane figure, I actually, you know, the Kane figure is not half bad, it actually looks like a Kane straight up, but uh, the crayon tights, and then the ball weird hair in the back really uh really did it for me so it, it kind of hurt him a little bit in the ranking so i'm gonna put him here at the number seven spot coming in at number six i think i'm gonna go with the dean ambrose john cena figure now i love john cena favorite wrestler of all time but both of his eyes are going both ways i really like the blue color but the dean ambrose pants and the white boots are really clean but i think the rest of the figures are better i'm pretty sure this is like an elite 14 john cena head sculpt they just like kind of enlarged it and then i, I don't know man they 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 did some wacky shit. I'd love to see exactly what their process was for making these figures, man. Good God. They got some Mattel. They got some Jacks. I mean, they're all over the place, but coming into the number five, we're finally cracking the top five, man. Should be a fun one. Coming into number five, I'm going to be going with Hot Cheeto Sheamus. Now, I call him Hot Cheeto Sheamus because he's got that spray tan on there. It says hot on his pants. He's got the red on. Solid looking head sculpt. This is probably one of the more quality figures, to be honest with you. Hot Sheamus. I know it's not accurate with the skin tone, but everything else, if he was super pale, he'd probably be way higher, but Sheamus comes in at the number 5 spot. Coming in at number 4, I went with the Rey Mysterio, or what, what we think is Rey Mysterio.
material. I mean, look at this head skull, man. Good God. He looks like he is in pain and agony. But he's got some good tattoo detail in there. I like the one leg. The 976 is hella accurate. Got even the other logo over here, which is very similar to Ray's. Even got the spine tattoo. I mean, this isn't half bad. He kind of reminds me of like Sabu or something with these pants on. I put him at the number four spot. And getting into our top three. Number three for me is going to be the Brock Lesnar figure. Very good. I even love that they paid attention to the one red and the one black. I mean, it's kind of old, but they did get all the tattoos in there. Didn't even fit it all the way on there. Decent looking head sculpt. I think it's solid. It's not the greatest, but it's not, you know, I've definitely seen much worse in this bag. But getting into our number two, who's going to be number two? Who's going to be number one? It came down to The Rock and Randy Orton. And I think at the end of the day, ooh, this one's tough. They both have great tattoo detail. They both have head sculpts that look like them. But I think at the end of the day, The Rock figure is slightly more accurate. And for that reason, I'm going to put Randy Orton in number two and The Rock at number one. The Rock looks like an action Hank Rock figure or something, like a bootleg rock, like a straight up bootleg rock. It has the Brahma Bull, it has the tribal tat. I know it's outdated, but it looks like it's in a Fast and Furious movie. The head sculpt is pretty accurate. I think they nailed it. The Randy Orton is fantastic as well. If he had wrist tape or maybe some knee pads or something, probably would have put him at the number one spot, but the head sculpt's not bad. They actually gave him his accurate tattoos. The, I'm pretty sure these are Jack's tattoos they applied on here, but the white boots look clean. Even though they're not accurate, it actually is an aesthetic pleasing figure but the rock figure is easily the best one i think the rock was it was damn good and uh, i guess it pays to be well known they're like yeah we know what he looks like but anyways man that was a really fun video i had a ton of fun going through these bootleg jacks mattel crossover power ranger looking ass dollar tree figures from amazon hope you guys did enjoy i'd love to know what you think of these down in the comment section below if you would like to grab these you can do so down in the comment section below but i am getting out of here man that is gonna wrap up today's video thank you guys for watching hope you guys did enjoy Leave me your thoughts down below on these. What is the personal best figure? What's the worst figure? I mean, Chris Jericho is the worst, man. I mean, my, my God, look at that head again. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you guys. Have a blessed one. I'll see you next time. We'll never back down. We will not relent.